Happening today, new efforts to contain the monkeypox virus. They include more access to vaccinations for people at risk on Long Island and more information for the public about the disease and how to avoid it. CBS News' John Diaz has it all for us. He joins us live from the health clinic in Chelsea this morning. John? Chris and Mary, good morning to both of you. And starting at 9 o'clock this morning, so in just a few hours from now, this health clinic right here behind me will begin to administer uh, doses of the monkeypox vaccine, again, to those who have appointments. Now, the latest numbers are from Friday, and they show that 160 people here in New York City likely have the virus. But it's not just health officials here in the city that are trying to get the upper hand. New efforts underway to fight a growing outbreak of monkeypox cases. As the virus spreads, so are reinforcements. Luckily, we now have the vaccine to help reduce the chance and severity of infection. Health officials say monkeypox is a rare viral infection that usually doesn't cause serious illness. While anyone can get it, the vaccine is prioritized for the most vulnerable. And as of now, New York City and state health officials say current cases are primarily spreading among social networks of gay, bisexual, and other men who have sex with men. That's why we need to work together to target our outreach. In Suffolk County, Cherry Grove and the Pines are popular gay destinations on Fire Island. So starting today, anyone who is considered high risk, who's had a recent exposure to monkeypox in the last 14 days, can sign up for a vaccine appointment on the Suffolk County website. Northwell Health will then administer 750 doses of the vaccine at pop-up clinics Thursday in Cherry Grove and Friday in the Pines. This is uh, a disease that's primarily spread by close, intimate, skin-to-skin -skin contact. It's very important. And Washington, D.C., promising a strong fight, beating it back with more vaccines. We expect another um, one and a half million doses over the coming months. The White House says it will take several months to deliver the 4.1 million doses already in the pipeline. This is a two-dose vaccine, so that's enough to vaccinate slightly more than 2 million people. Now, health officials say that people should be educated, not alarmed, which is why officials with the State Department of Health, uh, they will be hosting a town hall meeting later on this evening. We are live this morning from Chelsea. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. John, thank you.